Hey everybody, Claire here, and I am so excited to be sharing this with you today. I love vintage cookbooks, and I know you guys have heard me mention them before on the channel, but I just, they're such a close part of my heart, and honestly, it's where I get most of the inspiration for my recipes. I love food history, I'm a huge food history nerd, and so for me, vintage cookbooks are just a great way to tap into that, and they can tell you so much. So if you also are a history nerd, and I know there's a lot of you out there, so if you are out there, you will absolutely adore this. So this is one of my favorites. This is Helen Brown, um, Helen Evans Brown is also how she is known. And she is the queen of West Coast cuisine. I know that everyone thinks like California cuisine started in the 70s in Berkeley. It did not. And so this is one of her books that I love. You can see it's missing uh, the dust jacket, but it's still super cute called Helen Brown's West Coast Cookbook. And I love, I just have to point this out before we even open the book. I love vintage cookbooks because of the detail of how they are made. So on here, it's really cute. They have little hand-drawn illustrations of tacos, persimmon, mushrooms, dill loves avocado, chicken casserole, abalone, herb bouquet, miner's lettuce. I also love that like, I'm just, like three of these are always kind of weird to me. Like this one's great. Bear steak, which is like, oh God. <laughs> um, avocado cocktail, ginger rice, frijoles refritos, game needs wine, and then plump raisins in sherry serve with curry. But no, I love it. It's just oh, so freaking cute. But anyway, this book was published in 1952 and Helen Brown actually published quite a few West Coast cookbooks. Like for instance, she also, published California Cooks, The Patio Cookbook, some oyster recipes, Helen Brown's Holiday Cookbook. So she's pretty prolific. Here's the inside. And I'm going to read just the first paragraph because I think it really sums it up. This is a book of West Coast cuisine. If anything as simple as our cookery can be called cuisine. It is an informal book about the foods we eat and the foods we cook. We love to do both and we think we do them rather well. The recipes are all regional ones of the three Pacific states, California, Oregon, and Washington, and they have become ours in three different ways. And she goes into the history of the West Coast and sort of the development of its cuisine. You can see, I mean, look, this is like, dude, <laughs> I have gone through this book a million times. So one of my favorite recipes from this book are, is called Oregon Cheddar Pennies. And I actually have them on my blog, so you can uh, find the link below in the description and they're there, they're so delicious. They are like the best Cheez-Its or cheese biscuits you've ever had. They're really tender and crumbly, but they have a fabulous flavor. And she writes about them. This is a cheese shortbread, a recipe that either came down from British Columbia or dated way back to an early currency for the penny is half dollar size. They are good with drinks or soups and salads and keep nicely for several weeks if tightly covered. Then she goes into the recipes and I don't know if you can see this very well, but the way recipes are written in vintage cookbooks, especially from the 50s, is very casual. <laughs> it's um, paragraph format. Um, they just kind of list the recipes, almost or ingredients, almost like a suggestion. And the way they sort of describe how to do things is really interesting. Like a lot of times they'll say things like, bake in a slow oven until golden brown. And you just kind of have to figure it out. So a slow oven means it's a really low temperature, like around 350, maybe 325. And until golden brown, you just kind of have to eyeball it and then make a note somewhere in the sides. But one of the things I love about Helen Brown's books is that she actually writes really good recipes. Um, a lot of times if you buy vintage cookbooks, you'll notice that the recipes are kind of stupid. Like they actually don't work. And the reason why is because a lot of like publishers didn't recipe test. They just would kind of let the author write up a bunch of recipes and hope for the best. And most of the time they weren't really tested. So she actually tested her recipes and they it shows. So they're delicious and they're still current. What I do love about this book too that makes it really funny is um, how she describes Mexican food to a bunch of, um, you can tell she's describing Mexican food to a bunch of like Midwesterners from the 50s who don't know what any of it is. Quesadillas. Little cheese turnovers. We use tortillas, which are available in most markets, or sometimes buy the masa and make our tortillas of less imposing size. 
Here we cheat by rolling the masa like a pie crust and cutting it with a cookie cutter, then pinching the edges to make them look like handmade miniatures. And she then goes on to describe something that does not sound anything like a quesadilla that I have ever seen. Which makes me wonder one or two things, which is one, does she not understand what a quesadilla is? Or two, which is most likely that what was understood to be a quesadilla in the 50s was probably a little bit different than how we understand what a quesadilla is today. The same goes for tacos and the same goes for a lot of the Mexican recipes in here. Um, anyway, this book is a joy to read. It is so much fun and it is one of my absolute favorites. In all of these videos, I'm gonna also include notes about where you can find these. Helen Brown's books um, are actually really easy to find at Janet Jarvis's. Um, so Janet Jarvis is based out of Pasadena and she actually bought Helen Brown's entire cookbook collection and then created a cookbook store that she sells them out of. So you can also find these at Bonnie Slotnick's in New York or on eBay or on abebooks.com. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed hearing a little bit about Helen Brown's West Coast cookbook. It is one of my absolute favorites. She also has to explain what an avocado is, which is super funny. Um, in the 30s and 40s, avocados were also known as alligator pears, which is kind of amusing if you think about it. So she has to explain like, or as known as alligator pears, avocados have this kind of texture. It's kind of like trying to explain like food to an alien race a little bit. Like when you think about like, how would you describe an avocado to someone who has never seen or had one before, right? It's like insane to think about. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about my favorite vintage cookbook and watching me nerd out a little bit. All right, I'll talk to you guys later, bye.